All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft where I'm not sure if you noticed, but I've been enjoying experimenting with the new features rolled out in the recent snapshot. So I put together another little creation for your viewing pleasure. Hopefully you'll like it. So let's get started. I've got this innocuous looking grass patch here surrounded by some gold blocks. And you're probably wondering why it's surrounded by gold blocks and why when I walk over it, does it start placing down blocks? Well, to the untrained eye, you might ask those questions, but if you're an expert, at grass patches like myself, you realize that this is, of course, a combination lock. And the sheep, he knows it as well. He's going to try to unlock the combination lock as well, but he's not going to be successful because he doesn't know what the combination is. It's actually less of a, a combination lock and more like the, the swipe unlock screen that you might have on your, your Android phone. So the way it works is if I walk across this in a specific pattern, which is two up, two over, two up, four over, two, three, four, two up, one over, and one up. Oh man, the base door unlocks and it's super crazy and then I can go inside of my amazing base. It has so much stuff in it. All of three torches and a bunch of air and, and close and reopen buttons. Those aren't very technical at all. But uh, anyway, I can close the base door behind me. And the, the buttons there aren't really complicated, but uh, we'll get into actually how this thing works. So I'll go ahead and deconstruct it, um, and then I will show you everything that goes into making the swipe to unlock base door thingamadoohickey, whatever you want to call it. I'll be back in one sec. Okay, so I've uncovered all the inner workings so you can see what's going on in here. I'd like to think it's not super complicated. I don't know. It shares some mechanics with the super pick as well, which happens to be right over there since I built these in the same world. So if you watch the super pick video, then you're totally already an expert on most of this, but I'll still explain nonetheless. So the basic idea here is the door will unlock when this seven by seven by one area under the glass here matches up with this stone pattern in the adjacent area. So I have a, I have a test four blocks command running, which is comparing these two areas with each other. And when they match up, then it sets off this uh, fill command that just sets the door to air. That's pretty straightforward. So again, if I go in and start walking on this, now because the glass is here, you can see the blocks spawning under my feet. And when I match the patterns up by walking in the uh, correct fashion here, then the door will open. So boom. There we go. And it just cleared because I, I walked out of the, the boundary, but uh, the patterns mashed up for a split second, which tripped off the, uh, the command to fill the door with air and unlock it, essentially. So let me clear it once again. And now we'll get into how I'm actually getting to the point where, where the blocks are spawning under my feet. So I've got the clock here, which is not only uh, running the test for command at all times, but it's also running this right here, another test for command, which uh, is testing for my player location. And when my player gets within the, uh, the area where I'm standing over the glass, as designated by these coordinates and the uh, DX, DY, and Z, DZ values, which start over in this corner and stretch over to here and also up two blocks to encompass my feet, then uh, it, sets the, it sets this comparator to true in the on state and uh, this will output a signal and it will set off this command block here, which my mouse has decided to stop working for a second. Pardon me. <laughs> it wouldn't allow me to move my aim. Anyway, it sets a, um, a stone block right here. So let's see if, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but there's a, sorry, you can't see it, but there's a, a stone block that will spawn um, right there and complete the circuit so that the clock is also hitting this command block, which is running an execute command that's setting a stone block just two blocks under my feet. And that's how I'm actually filling in the blocks to be able to, uh, to match the pattern over there. And that's, that's the basic idea. Just testing for my, my location. If I'm within that location, then it runs the execute command to set stone blocks under my feet. Then I can walk around. And if I walk in the proper order to match that particular pattern over there, then it runs the fill command, fills the door with air, and I am granted access. So What's this other branch, you may ask? Well, it's the same sort of thing as I had for the super pick that in order to deactivate the execute command, I have to deactivate this circuit right here. So first off, um, I will set, and this is once I've walked out of the area here, this will turn off, the inverter turns back on, so a command is, is or a signal is run into these command blocks and it sets a, an air block right here to deactivate the execute command. And then it also runs a, a fill command 
to just fill in this whole area with air so it clears it so you're free to retry the uh, the lock once more in the event you got it wrong so say i don't know i walk across it like so and then i get it wrong oh no i need to try once more then once i walk off the inverter flips back on again and it runs the two commands to turn off the execute command and uh, and clear all the blocks that were there so that is the uh, the basic idea and in order to change the combination or the swipe or the pattern or whatever you want to call it it's just as easy as changing this configuration over here so if i wanted to make it easier on myself i just do that so now if i go start from here hopefully i can remember what i just did three four is that right i hope so boom boom up two then over one and then the door was already open so that was a fail but it would have run successfully let me close it and, and do it once more but i think you get the idea that it's um it's just as simple as you know matching the two patterns together so let me run it right here boom 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 over two up two over one and up one and the door opens cool stuff and then again i, I these are just fill commands that are closing the door and opening the door nothing too complicated there just specifying the type of block and the coordinates i want it to fill much like the uh the block over here that's just filling it with air so anyway that's the idea of how the combination lock works i keep calling it a combination lock when it's more of a not combination lock pattern swipe lock like i said maybe on your android phone so yeah that's about it hopefully you've enjoyed if you have a rating would be much appreciated other than that I can put a link to uh, a map download in the description as well, so you can check it out yourself if you want. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.